YouTube. Greetings from Haines City, Florida, somewhere between Tampa and Orlando. It is beautiful here. The sun is out, blue skies, and sort of say it's probably the only nice place in the country right now given the winter storms, state of emergencies, ice, and the extreme temperatures that are going on. So I'm going to enjoy this little bit of sun while I'm here because I'm sure we'll be rolling soon. The other thing that was interesting um, arriving here at this truck stop is I ran into Junior Honduras. Hello, Junior, if you're watching. Um, he's such a great guy. If you do not currently subscribe and watch his videos, do so. You will learn a ton of information, a ton. Um, and he's just got a great personality. Uh, he's great, you know, on, on film and, um, he's, he's going to freak out when I show him this, but I'm going to flip the camera around cause he's walking across the parking lot. So if he sees this, hey, Junior, I spy you. So anyway, it's just nice to see a friendly face that you know. Um, so take the chance to, you know, say, say hello to people, um, you know, you you never know um, when you're out there and you need a friendly face, they're around. Um, but the other thing I really wanted to talk about are things that you should think about when you're choosing a trainer for TNT because you're going to spend so much time with them on their truck. Um, usually the basics are covered, male or female, smoke or vape. Um, if those things are important to you, make sure that you that you note that. But the other things that I would wonder about are um, how often are showers? Uh, will they provide a shower because they get um, credit for showers when they fuel? Typically, if they're lease, well, a company too because they use their card. Um, and then they can split one shower credit into two, and it's called a team shower. Now you take separate showers, but it's called a team shower. Um, I would also ask about bathroom breaks. I would ask about if there's equipment in the truck you can use. Like, can you use a microwave if it's in there? You know, sometimes you can't. Um, but I would be very respectful. This is their home that you're walking into. I would ask if there's other truck rules or house rules, right? Like, for the most part, you should not have your street shoes beyond the front seat carpet. Because back there, behind the seat, is where you're typically walking with your socks and it's your sort of living area. So um, it never wear your street shoes back there and never wear your straight shoes by accident back there and then climb up on the bunk in your street shoes. Never, ever. How do I know that? First day on the truck with my PSD trainer. I did that, not even thinking, not even knowing. And then I scrubbed the hell out of those steps for him. So. Um, and then I would just ask them if there's anything else that you should be aware of. Um, you know, do you have, uh, allergies? Do you, you know, are you strong politically to the left or to the right? And would it bother you if they are the opposite? Um, are you very religious? Are you different religions and would, would clash? Um, does your cultural mindset mesh and you know you're gonna spend some time on the truck with this person so you want to try to make it as cordial as possible um, I know it's two complete strangers in a box and I swear there's a human experiment going on somewhere but nonetheless make it the most enjoyable as you can while you're out here for both of you um, so just some things to think about um, as you enter your training or think about coming out here um, because you will be living on their truck, right? Um, they're inviting you into their home. So remember that um, and just always be respectful of that um, regardless of, I guess, the situation. Um, you know, pick up after yourself. You know, if you spill stuff, whatever, clean it up right away. Those sorts of things. Just like you would do in your own home. You know, don't put your feet up on the dash. You wouldn't do it at your coffee. Well, maybe you would at your coffee table. But, don't, you know, don't do stuff like that. So, anyway, 
Um, I'm going to get out here in the sun, maybe take a quick walk, and then um, we'll be out of here, hopefully, on to our next load. So, um, here's to a 2018 prosperous year. Be safe, everybody. Stay warm where you're at, and um, we'll see you real soon.